Hi, my name is Rickard, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download and install brushes and overlays into Photoshop. Let's get started. All right, so first let's go to nuclei.com. From there, I'm going to go to login, and you should have received an email after your purchase with your email address and a password to your Nucle account. If you did not get it, click on forgot password here and just put in your email address and you'll get a email with a reset link for your password and you can set your own password. I already have my password here, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on sign in. That's gonna take me to the library. If you don't arrive at the library, you can go here and click on my library. From here you can see all your courses and asset packs. I'm going to go to the lens flares, overlays and Photoshop brushes and click on open. And here you can see the download button. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And it's going to download the file here. I'm going to go ahead and show in Finder. And there you go, the download is complete. Let's go ahead and minimize our browser here. And I'm going to put this in a folder called the brushes and overlays. Let's go ahead and close that. And we're going to unzip the file. I can do that by double clicking or right mouse clicking and opening with the archive utility. And that's going to give me a folder with the contents of the zip file. In this case, we have our brush preset file, a readme file, and the flare images. And these are JPEGs of all the flares that are included in the pack. Okay, so let's first load these brushes in Photoshop. So let's go ahead and open Photoshop. I'm going to click on the Photoshop icon here. So I bring up the Photoshop UI. I'm going to go to Window and go to Brushes. From the Brushes palette, I can click here on this little top right menu and go to Import Brushes. From there, I can select the ABR file, click on Open. You can see here those brushes are now loaded. Now, if you don't see the brush tips, just go here and select the brush tip, turn that on. You can turn off the brush stroke if you'd like to just see the brush tips. And there you can see all the brushes. Those are available now in Photoshop to use. So let's go ahead and open a sample image here. I'm just going to open the first one and let's select a flare that looks like a star. I think flare 46. And let's make a new layer. We can call this stars. Make sure our foreground color is white and then just adjust the size here and start clicking to add a few stars, maybe another one that's a bit bigger. And there you go, I've now added some stars. So that's the simplicity of using a light brush in Photoshop. Now the next thing I wanna show you is how to bring up an overlay. So let's go ahead and close this. I'm gonna to go to File Open, and I'm gonna open the second image here. And for this one, I want to use some flares, but I want to use the overlays because they have color. So what I can do is I can just go through here, find the flare that I like, um, and then drag it in to my Photoshop file. So let's go ahead and select this one, flare 19. I'm going to drag that in here, make it a bit bigger hit on the check mark and then change the blending mode from normal to screen. There you can see it's now basically just a light in your file. And what you want to do is you want to place the center of the flare on your light source. So it looks like that is where the light's coming from. And you can do that on pretty much any light source and it'll look really nice. And you can use that as a way of enhancing your image. So that's kind of the quick and dirty way to do it. You can also go to File, Place Embedded, go to your light uh, flare images, 
and then select the one that you want and that'll place it as well and then you can just put it on screen and use it in the same way. Now, another way to do this and to have access to them is to add them to a library. So to do that, what I'm gonna do is open up Bridge and Bridge comes free from Adobe and it allows you to look at all the images that you have, look at the metadata, assign keywords and so forth. But what I'm going to be using it for is basically adding all these flare images into a library. So to do that, I'm going to click up here to the libraries view. And what that gives me is on the right side here, you can see my various Adobe libraries. And what I can do is I can add a new one and I can call this my flares create and then take all these images and I can do select all and then just drag them into here. And what that's going to do is it's going to create a library of all my flares. And these flares will now be available in Photoshop directly. All right, so let's go to uh, back to Photoshop. I'm going to go ahead and delete these two. And then I'm going to open my libraries palette here, which you can also access here, libraries. Make sure I'm on my flares library and then you can just scroll through here, see which flare you want to use in your image and just drag it out. And voila, it's in your image. Change it to screen, place it where you want it. So there you have it. That's the nuts and bolts of how to get your brushes and overlays installed into Photoshop. I've also done two other tutorials on how to use the brushes and how to use the overlays for some really nice effects in Photoshop. So I'm gonna include links to those two videos in the description. You should check those out. And otherwise, if you haven't downloaded any brushes and you just wanna check them out before you purchase the full set, you can download my How to Get Started in Photoshop kit, which is free and has some sample brushes in it. I'll include a link to that as well. All right, I'll see you next time.